Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As promised, I'm doing a meal prep. Happy Sunday, happy prep day. I'm just, just going to make a couple of things that uh, help me to uh, feed the kids or feed my husband and I uh, during the week. I'm gonna use gloves because it'll, it's easier for mixing for me, but right now I'm gonna do something very easy, which is a um, buffalo chicken dip. And everybody I'm sure makes it different. This is just what works for me and my family and what we like taste-wise, but there are so many variations. Um, I chose to make this today because it is like 100 degrees outside. The heat index is a little over 100. And um, I don't really want my oven on too long. I am gonna make one uh, recipe with using my oven, but I figured if I can just limit it to one, then I will be great. So, um, I start with two cans of chicken and I just get the uh, chicken from Costco, the Kirkland brand. I think it comes in a pack of six. Um, so I drain, of course, drain it all out. I kind of did, did the easy parts or the harder parts before I started filming. So you guys didn't have to see me having to struggle open up cans. I'm actually doing it in this container because I figured that this would be a good container to store it in the refrigerator. So you just really make sure that you have it all shredded and no big chunks. Uh, the other thing too is sometimes I make this with a rotisserie chicken. Um, in the future, I am going to buy a couple rotisserie chickens and do it like four or five different ways just to kind of give you guys um, different things to do. So to that, I'm going to add some cream cheese and I have, I'm sorry, not cream cheese, uh, sour cream. I have about a half a cr cup of sour cream. Um, I'm gonna add that in here, give that a little stir. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of the um, Red Hots, the Frank's Red Hot uh, original. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. That was a half a cup of that as well. I'm just gonna put, mash it around, mix it all up. Um, we don't really like too many hot things. I mean, my husband does, but the kids and I don't. I like a little bit, but not a lot. So I wouldn't go more than that. I'm actually gonna put in a little bit of paprika. I just like the smokiness of paprika. And I'm also going to put in some everything but the bagel seasoning. I know, sounds odd, but it, it really is so good. So I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of that in there and mix it around. This is something that's so simple, but yet so satisfying, especially after it's cold from the refrigerator. Um, I like to warm it up, but once it gets cold, it kind of marinates, I think, kind of marries the flavors in, and it's really, really good. And the second to the last thing I'm gonna add in is eight ounces of cream cheese. I actually took this out of the refrigerator and stuck it right on my deck in the sun. Um, and so it made it actually really easy and, and um, and uh, pliable, I guess would be the word, but it's kind of going around in here and I'm just gonna incorporate all this around. Kind of sounds weird, this, this sound is weird. <laughs> it's like all juicy yuckiness, I don't know, weird. But um, yeah, so I hope everybody's day is going good. Um, I'm gonna make this and I'm also going to show you how I make uh, one of my favorite cuts of steak, cuts of beef is a, um, a um, gosh, I'm brain dead today. It's been, it's been one of those days. Um, I'm going to make a, it's not skirt steak, it's, um, maybe it is skirt, skirt steak, I don't know, but when I come back to do the steak, I'll let you know exactly what it is, because it has it on the package, but basically, I am going to, um, get the steak and I'm going to show you guys how to cook it and it comes out amazing I am amazing at cooking steak and um, and then I'm also going to do a veggie and um, they're veggies for my garden and I'm going to do a veggie uh, one tray meal inside the oven with sausage and uh, my husband had pre-cut some of our veggies they're going to be summer squash and zucchini and uh, I'm going to make that I'm going to get some onion in there, incorporate all that. So this actually looks really well incorporated. I'm gonna get some excess off my gloves and then 
Of course, for easy cleanup, which any parent knows is essential when you have kids, um, so easy cleanup would be, of course, to take the gloves off properly, and we are now nice and clean. And the only other thing that I'm going to add, this is actually 100% grass-fed uh, cheddar cheese, and um, I got it from Whole Foods, and I have my 12-year-old daughter, um, she always shreds it for me, so we don't buy the pre-cut shredded cheese except for a couple of the things that the kids are doing. So I probably have about a cup uh, in there, maybe a cup and a quarter. Um, and so I'm just basically going to fold that cheese into this, and then I'm just gonna stick it in the refrigerator for a dip, side dish type thing. We usually eat this with, um, with pork rinds, uh, although my husband sometimes eats it by itself, or I also, one of the tips, um, if you're not feeling too hungry, especially with the heat, um, depending where you live, uh, one of the tr tricks that my husband and I do is we will actually make um, some taco shells out of cheese, and um, we do it right in the microwave, and we form the taco sh shell, um, and we will just fill it with this, and we'll make two of them and that'll be kind of our light lunch. Really nothing else needed on the side. Um, and so we really, really, really like this. So that is it. That is my chicken dip. I am actually going to um, cover it. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and I'll be back with my next food item. Okay guys, I am back. I am gonna show you guys how to do a very quick sheet meal that will be delicious and will feed your family for at least two, three days, depending on how big your family is. Let me grab my handy dandy gloves. And I'm going to use, the, this is onions, um, summer squash, and zucchini. I'm going to use this Italian sausage because this is what I happen to have. Um, you can use a, a tube of it, but this is, um, it is hot Italian sausage, and I'm trying, so it's one pound, so one pound of sausage. Let me get this on. I'm going to use some olive oil. I'm going to use for my seasoning, I'm going to use my everything but the bagel again. I really, really love that seasoning and I'm going to add garlic and my adobo, which I absolutely love. So, oh, and this is the olive oil. So first I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan. Um, and then next I'm just taking the veggies. Now if you prep things, my husband loves to cook and he's working a lot the past like three weeks, but he has time to at least chop veggies. And so um, he goes ahead and chops all the veggies for me if I ask him, he'll do all the onions and um, if I want garlic done or cilantro or anything, he will do it for me. So basically I'm just going to make one layer on the bottom here and then to that layer I'm going to add a little bit of adobo, a little bit of everything but the bagel. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic. I don't know why I took the whole entire cover off because I would have used the whole thing because it's so good. Um, and then on top of here, I'm actually going to um, put my, I'm not going to lay these patties down as they are. I'm going to actually make little tiny meatballs out of them. There's no casing around them. So I'm just going to make little, little meatballs, like the size of maybe a quarter. And I'm just going to make a whole bunch of meatballs and I'm going to lay them down all around the bottom of the pan. And um, it's gonna come out so good, you guys. So all this flavor from these meatballs and from this hot sausage is going to be delicious. So basically, I'm just gonna take each one of them, roll it out, throw it in there. I'm going to just make sure that I, you know, get it around evenly just because of uh, having all the juices come out, making sure that everything is in the corners, um, in the middle. I'm gonna get that right in there. Let me get another patty. Um, 
We could also, I mean, just take the patties and throw them on top, I'm sure, but who really wants to bite into a, hum a humongous patty, you know? So I'm basically taking these and I'm forming the little balls, making sure that they're gonna be all over. This is something that is going to be so delicious when it's done that you guys are gonna think there has to be some other secret to this. But honestly, you guys, being in a family as big as mine, I've had six kids, I owned a daycare when my oldest kids were growing up. I've always had to cook for a lot of people. Now it's just uh, cooking for a lot of people, but trying to make it healthy. Um, so these kind of sheet pan meals are really, really um, good to have and to be able to do just kind of on the fly. Like today, you know, I don't have a huge amount of time to be able to devote for meal prepping today. I just have a little. Uh, the kids will only be quiet for so long. Um, so I basically take the time that I do have and try to make it count. You know, the chicken, uh, the buffalo chicken dip, that's going to be a hit for my husband. Like tomorrow he finally has a day off. I'm hoping he also has Tuesday off, but um, he's been working nights and then this weekend he's worked. So he's worked. Uh, today is 12 days in a row. Um, and he doesn't get home till very late and some days are 12, 13 hours. And so that buffalo chicken dip is going to be a welcomed um, recipe for him. It's going to be very comforting tomorrow uh, when he wants to have some, I'm sure, when he wakes up from um, sleeping. Um, today he actually made one and <laughs> I told him, why didn't you videotape it for my channel? Uh, but he made this delicious um, it's kind of like a quiche, I guess it would it would be called. It just has eggs and it has onion and um, summer squash and zucchini. And basically he has that and he put it into a round pie plate and he poured egg on top, put a whole bunch of different, you know, the veggies, topped it with tomatoes and then topped the whole entire thing with Swiss uh, cheese that we freshly grated today and or shredded rather and um he popped that in the oven and it browned up just like a quiche but the flavor is spectacular um and i really wish that he would have videotaped exactly what he did but anyways that was the gist of it so this is what this looks like right now so you can see the little meatballs and the um the um what you call it the summer squash and zucchini I'm actually going to put one more thing on here. I'm going to spread a handful or so of uh, walnuts and a handful or so, or so of um, cranberries. I'm popping it in the oven and I'll be right back to let you guys know how it comes out. All right guys, so I'm back. It's still in the oven, the um, veggies and the, um, the um, sausage meatballs. Uh, the type of steak that I'm going to work with is actually one of my favorites. It's like my top three favorite steaks. It's actually called a flank steak. And so it comes from Costco and it's rolled up. Actually, there's two huge pieces. And so basically, mine's still a little frozen. Um, so I'm just going to unroll it. Ugh. Had it not been so frozen, it would be easy to unroll. But it's not really going to matter. Uh, in this pan, I actually have um, three pats of butter, and I cook my steak low and slow, and I take my steak and I turn it over many, many, many times, probably 15 times I will turn this. I know some people, famous chefs, have said, you know, don't touch it, turn it one time and you're done. I don't do that. I hate doing that. It makes it tough. This steak is dreamy. I love, love, love this steak. Basically, I'm just putting it, once that melts, the butter, I'm going to take this steak and I'm just going to lay it flat onto the um, frying pan. And I'm going to put some garlic, adobo, and what's the other one? I think I'll just put garlic and adobo today. And I'm just going to take this steak and slowly cook it back and forth. When I turn it over, I'm going to add a little bit more garlic, a little bit more adobo, and over and over. And this steak is going to come out phenomenal. It is so good. 
that my uh, husband's co-workers um, have asked for it at his old job because it was so delicious. My husband is usually our chef, um, but when it comes to steak and burgers, that is my job. So I will be back and let you guys know how it looks as it's cooking. All right, guys, so this is fresh out of the oven. This is the sausage meatballs with the, um, the summer squash, zucchini. I added some of the walnuts and some cranberries, and it smells wonderful. So this is basically done. I will just uh, put that in the refrigerator for my husband and I to have. Um, and so far, so good. The steak looks wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I have a piece of the sausage, summer squash, walnut, cranberry. Mmm. Wow. So this is a hit. I didn't know how it would do with the walnuts, but the walnuts still being crunchy like a soft crunch. Mm. Wow, that's really good. My husband will love that. Be back this with the steak. steak. Fresh. I let it sit for about five minutes. Um, I started cutting it. This is just perfect for the way that my husband and I like it. Um, this is the inside. As I cut a little bit more, it gets just a tiny bit pink. And because my husband isn't home, I forgot if I'm supposed to be cutting it against the grain or on the grain. So let me see what's easier. Oh, on the grain is easier. All right, well, that was my answer. So I'm just going to cut this up. And guys, it's so delicious and juicy. Look at that. And all I did was put a lot of butter in the pan, a lot of butter on it, but this is amazing. So I hope you enjoyed our food prep today. And uh, I'm definitely gonna be trying some new recipes in the future, so stay tuned. And please, if you have not subscribed or liked, please do so. Hit that bell, that notification bell down below so you can enjoy my cooking as much as I do.